hit him with it out of nowhere. It'd be cool if it hit on the way up to the wall like this. It does. Oh, it does? Yep, that's what that's what the buster gave it. I, I haven't played against Ultra One in so long, that's why. <laughs> Oh, but okay. Micross already getting that good uh, Honda zoning down with the headbutts and just a like, crouch short. I mean, uh, yeah. crouch light punch. He's really holding that space with a crouch jab because that way Vega can't just throw out those random pokes. Well, the strange thing is that actually Vega controls that range much better than Honda does. Yeah. And we normally see Hondas uh, don't have to use that crouch jab as much in the matchup because of that. I wonder when he's going to start going for his uh, stand medium or his stand heavy kick. Honda's stand heavy kick right there, that's a good range. Yeah, but see, okay, we're already seeing this transition from Oakland Loco. We're seeing that stand medium kick to flow up the crouch jab. And wow, good conversion. And his bat chooses to back off, not overextending himself. Yeah, they're both playing pretty neutral, but then the, the jump, there's the jumps. That was a great read there from Oakland Loco. Good defensive option. They're both hitting each other in the air a lot. Oh my god, that's Oakland Loco special. Just caught Mike Ross. Standing up, I don't know if he pressed the buttons or whatnot, but definitely caught Mike. That sucks. I think they're they're fighting over the air right now. It seems like it's a really good uh, air fight because you have the Matador and then you have the Sumo Wrestler, which Both obviously the fight in the air Sumo Wrestlers, right? Yeah, which is weird because like now they're back on the ground. Oh, there we go. Okay, Mike chooses not to finish the combo with that uh, stand roundhouse. He's dead, but he does have corner and good damage. Oh no, the screen position is going to be huge here. He got him in the corner. He doesn't want him out. <laughs> Just look, look at the uh, Elkabal Loco and how he's walking in this matchup to control that crouch jab space. He's, yeah. he's always always being right outside of it. He could probably now throw in some like full range sweeps now that he has him trained to like kind of watch out for his pokes. A little bit, but Mike Ross isn't walking forward all that much. Yeah. He's still pretty, pretty content to oh. kind of hold down back. Okay, a little bit there, but I see what you're talking about. Yeah, see like now he's getting a little like, oh, I got to get in there. <laughs> you know what? Ultimate Local will take that train. That was a, a good punish. punish. Yeah. That was great. Thank God that they made that thing easier to punish now. <laughs> oh, and great car throw to finish off the round. Ultimate Local with the read. We'll go up 1-0 against Mike Ross. Good stuff. That was a good block string and a grab. I like that one because he got him with the far medium kick, and then he kind of walked up and then boom. On yeah, the headbutt's not a safe on block. Not nearly anymore. Uh, Especially against Vega with like all the punish range. It's like, oh, I'm oh, at a yeah. headbutt, and I'm this far away. And then claw. I think it was like I was talking to Huda Man, and there's actually certain headbutts you could do that are safe if you like time it. I think it's like light headbutt or something if you time it at a certain range or hard headbutt. Against, not against all characters, but some. Yeah. And I think Vega is never that character. Yeah. You have a four frame normal that goes really far. Probably like it's safe against Hakan or someone who has <laughs> like low range. <laughs> Shout out to Hakan. Okay, Mike Ross finds some good frame trap pressure. Oh wow, that was a damage for damage. Okay, that's meaty pressure, not frame trap. Doesn't matter. Oh, headbutt. Oh, there you go. He has him with the claw off. Let's see how he handles without the claw. I think when the claw's off, uh, claw, that that's when Ross should really. Oh, is he let him get the claw back? I'm gonna say, don't let him get the claw back. Yeah, you get a little. You get. You know, he loses that little bit of range, and it really helps, especially when you're fighting over that neutral game so hard. Ooh, that, that challenge was a from Mike Ross. Good wake up. That wasn't even a reversal. That was uh, that was delayed. He delayed just a little bit, and he got a great uh conversion there. No, not conversion. Just. Good yeah. read. Good read, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can't the, convert off a single Delaying hit. your stuff is honestly a good option now because they're expecting you right away. And if they don't see reversal, they're going for it. Yeah, because a lot of people don't like doing, uh, don't do medies anymore. They do like delayed medies. Yeah. Because then you'll just get reversal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but wow. Oh, come on, local. We can completely control this round. Control the airspace. Got good damage. And, oh, I... You know, nope. That was, that was actually pretty good. That was really risky by Mike, but he got out of the corner, and now he's in the middle. Let's see what he does with his Oki. Oh! oh Burns the meter, keep it going. Mike Ross finding some damage. Back in the corner, That's though. safe. No, good patience for Mike, but oh, that trade. Elk by Elk will take that all day, especially with the life lead. They're both very patient players, actually. Like, it's at almost 50 seconds, and usually matches, you know, sometimes they don't last like 30 seconds. Well, you kind of have to with two charge characters like this. I yeah. mean, you don't have too many opportunities to make a thing. And, by the way, great job from uh, Elkwell Loco there. When you had that big life lead with Vega and you're one normal away from winning, just, it's so hard not to get touched by something. That was safe. That headbutt. Oh, okay, yeah. I was like, okay, there's no punish. Yeah, yeah. But then that's like full screen, so then that... that oh, oh huge conversion he's there! Gonna, is he going to walk back? Or is he going to... Oh, he's going in. He's applying dominance. Oh, and Elkwell Loco just burned all his on that red focus also. Is he here He's a little near stun. Okay, there we go. He's out of stun range now, and Elbow Loco has a chance to get back in. You Bad know, that read. was good that Mike went in after that, because he has such a life lead that now he can kind of walk back. And then now he doesn't have to worry about, you know, the neutral as much. I don't know if Mike's going to do that, though. That was a safe jump, so he won't get punished. But Mike's not the person that, like, let the round just go out. Look at yeah. this. Mike, 
I don't want to say Mike won the round, but Mike has a really solid lead where if he just plays super slow and just gets that one moment, it's his round to lose. Yeah. It, it, oh, oh, no. Oh, but don't jinx him. <laughs> Knock on wood. Mike Ross. Looks like he's slowly throwing this one. Okamal Loco fighting for his life. I wonder if he's going to try to get free chip oh. pressure. Like, he's going to get hit. That was a card. I mean, all these jump backs, those are baiting headbutts right there. He's trying to find that timing. He's trying, to, him. He's trying to give him those sprinkles. See, the jump back, he's just trying to find the headbutt timing. Mike Ross isn't committing. Oh, no, this oh! is a punish! Oh, my God, look at no! him. He both stopped their hands up, and Mike Ross is so happy about that. That was that was, that was a hard screech moment, because honestly, I thought that Mike was going to drop the ball. It, that, was was, like, that, that was an input error from both players. Mike Ross oh. messed up with something. El Loco had his punish and just did the wrong button and missed it, messed up. Yeah, he did the flip kick, which, which yeah, is Yeah, should have been the uh, Ick Barcelona. Yeah, I love that the name of that move, Barcelona. <laughs> I've never been there. I want to go. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, this time El Cabal Loco with a start. Ooh, and we keep seeing him going. He keeps actually going for that uh, the tick throw uh, strategy instead of the frame traps. That was a good punish. He expected that with that focus ready. Huge punish. Oh my oh, god. Oh, he's going for He's going in. <laughs> Near stun now also. He's like, that was my match to win from you. I'm going to show you what happened. Oh my god. El Cabal Loco. Perfect. El Cabal Loco. Yo. Oh, that was all that energy supposed to win last match. Back at him. Exactly. He just came back and was like, no, no. This is how I'm going to play. This is what's going to happen. Great stuff. Do oh, you think Mike's going to run it back with the same amount of energy? No. Hmm. I think Mike Ross wants to, but I think... Mark was actually really good against playing against well, offensive players. And oh my god, maybe I'm not. Mike's oh, he's using here. a stand. Mike's using a stand fierce now. He's not fucking around. The karate chop. That right there, that means he doesn't want to get touched. Dude, actually, look, these headbutt reads from Mike have been so on point. He's coming Neutral back headbutts right and the reversals, all have hit so far. Yeah, you're right. He got him with a few of the good ones. Okay. I mean, the trade's not actually favorable for El Kamal Loco anymore. And wow, Mike with the reads. Mike is just hitting him now. He's giving him that one too. Oh. Full conversion for the round. Mike Ross. This is match point, this guys. Is match point. This is an exciting match. <laughs> I'm excited. I love it. Dude, Mike Ross really did. He did Falcon Tempo change. He mixed up his yeah. headbutt timing. He's either forcing the block or getting the hit with the headbutts now. You know what it was? I think he got tired of the situations and he said, you know, I'm going to show you what's up. I'm going to show you what's up, Marcos. You're not going to take this match from me last week, I remember. You know, and it's also just catching Marcos pressing a lot of buttons. I think we saw like three EX headbutts hit last round. Yeah. And he actually got some counter hit headbutts, which means that Marcos was definitely doing something. So that may prove like fatal for Marcos if he gets like into some kind of like. Oh, that with punish though. El Cupal logo on point. Okay, good safe chip chip set up there. I like that option with Vega. Just take the damage when you get it. Safe. Yeah, they're both pretty neutral on damage right now. Vega has a short lead. Oh, nope. Nope, it's gone right there. It's gone. And that's gonna be this. They're both gonna trade hit for hit all the way down. Mike is slowly getting close to that super, though, and that might be a big tempo swing he needs. So oh, here's the round. Oh, no! He should have saved, you know, I feel like super was going to be something he would have finished the match with. As soon as you said super, I was like, yeah, I see that game, though. But now he's not going to probably get that by the time this round ends. And He can get hands, chip set up, build a little bit of meter, mm -hmm. and then he can get one more set up in the super. Yeah, he'll probably, oh my god, though, the whip punishes from El Cubano Loco. The spacey was immaculate, and he takes out Mike Ross. Oh, he took him out. He had... <laughs> the DM is chanting in the crowd. He had three meters. Yeah. 